Hello and welcome to Porting and Polishing Tips from CC Specialty Tool. Uh, you can find all our products online at ccspecialtytool.com. You're here with Trent and Blake. We're going to go over uh, chamfering port windows. Uh, it's something we see bra um, kind of breezed over a lot in most of the videos, but it's an important step. Otherwise, you'll snag a ring. You'll uh, you'll run into a lot of problems. Uh, chamfering is an important step. It's putting a slight little recess. It's putting a slight little uh, edge gradient to these port windows so that the piston ring can transfer in and out of these port windows quite easily. We're going to go over a few steps uh, or how I prefer to do it right quick. Uh, makes These are a few steps that make it really easy to go over. First thing I start with when I'm going to chamfer these little diamond points. The reason I prefer them, the little diamond points, is uh, they're, they're not very aggressive. They can go through Nika seal. They can go through cast iron really easy. They won't chip like a carbide bird can start to chip the Nika seal liner. They won't do that. They'll give a nice, uh, they give a nice abrasive um, edge to chamfer that window. Uh, they're not, like I said, they're not particularly aggressive, and they can go through cat if you're working in a cast iron cylinder liner. They'll work with that just fine as well. Okay, they're a great way to go. There's different head shapes and sizes. Uh, really, it's whatever your preference is, whatever profile you want to work with. Uh, I'm going to go with this D on here and uh, load it up in the 1A2 AMC. Now, the idea behind uh, chamfering, like I said, is to make a, you're not making a ramp on this thing. You're, you want to do a slight little recess about half a millimeter back into the port window and about uh, one to one and a half millimeters with the combustion chamber in this, in the longitudinal direction. So let's just go over that. Makes it a whole lot easier if you got a right angle like this. That's really, to me, that's the only way to do it. So here we go. Let's go. Just do a little chamfering here. Right along the edge. Now it works really well if you vary your angle there. Vary your angle. You're just working right a little edge. Let's do the same thing on this side over here. And keep, keep the bird moving. Keep the little diamond cutter moving. And you kind of control it just by feel. You're controlling your depth into there. Like I said, you want to go about half a millimeter into the port window, one and a half millimeters in the light, you know, down this way from the edge in the longitudinal direction. And you just keep working it until you get those dimensions that you're looking for. If the, if the uh, bar starts to hesitate or skip there a little bit, just vary your angle, vary your angle. And like I said, keep moving, keep moving. It puts a nice little edge. Now, a really good instrument for feeling that is what God gifted you with a call to finger. You can just reach in there, feel kind of how smooth that is. Now, at this point, we have a little bit of a, a burr back there because we haven't went through the uh, next step. So we're going to go to the next step, okay?